Good. Sit right there. Stay there. See this? There you go. You feel that? Yeah. So tell me, like, when you're here, that's not something that should be manipulated to the top. Yeah. It's something that you have set right here, and then you just turn it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so do it in the beginning. Now, here's something we were talking about how the right elbow affects the left wrist. Okay, watch this. Right elbow gets stiff and then gets this way. Look what it did, look what it did to my wrist. Yeah. Watch what happens when I pull my elbow in. Okay, so it's not all about this. Yeah. You know, I start off with, you know, I see two knuckles on my left hand, two and a half. I would say I'm definitely a hair stronger than I am weaker on my left hand. People would think that that cupped wrist would lead to that at the top. No, if you watch my swing, it's not at all. It's just, by the time I set this club, the wrist is flattened out a little bit. And that's, like if you watch this here, here, I just turn right here, but the elbow stays in. And when the elbow's in, you can see that from here, the elbow's staying in. It's like the weight of the club just starts to settle in that right hand, and it's not sitting there in that left hand like this. But watch, if I get the high right elbow and then just kind of flare it like that, that's, that's, that's destined to happen. But if I get the elbow pinched in, well, it gets everything rotated into that position right there. So ready? Like when you go back, go back halfway. You feel what I just did? Yeah. And then look at the difference there. See that? That's all this. Watch this. See that right there, guys? Boom. Make sense? Yeah. And that's your move, because look at now where you are, look where you are. No way that's over the top, right? Yeah. Right. And then, yeah. Now here's what I want to see. You have this white line right here at your toe line, okay? And your hands are kind of visually probably hanging right around there. Okay, you want to make sure everything works down that line. Okay, and you can break that a little bit, but okay, and then from there, this just turns right there. Nice and solid, feel that? Yeah. Okay, so work on that feeling. I don't want much more than that. You get up there, and they kind of just get a little extra, right? I want them really synced up with your turn. So get it down the line, wrist nice and flat, and just turn that right to the top. So Ryan, a good one for you, think about it, just for right now, would be this drill right here. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna go right to that set position. So clubs right down the line, you need to work on that. I'm gonna go right to that set position with the wrist being flat and just, right? Now, what did I do? I mean, I got up there and I just made sure that I just turned and didn't change anything about my wrist angles at all. So watch, I'll do that in slow motion for you. So you can see how literal that I'm trying to be when I do this. Okay, ready? There's that wrist. All right, you see how slow I went? just to feel it all work together, to feel this elbow not going this way, to feel like the body was turning it, and to be actually have the awareness in my wrist to get it in the right spot. Not enough people do what I just did right there. They just keep hitting, they hit it fast, they just do their normal swing, and they think about it a little bit, and they think because they're thinking about it that somehow it's gonna get better. I can promise you after teaching thousands of lessons, that's not how it works. So just get in there, break it down, say to yourself, okay, this is where I need to be, Club needs to be set right here, inside the ball, flat wrist. I'm gonna keep that elbow in and the, feel like the club's weight's in my right hand more as opposed to my left, okay? Yeah. All right, let's get it. Is it a good thought to think like <clears throat> that I'm almost keeping this all in line and Absolutely. not letting it get like that, so it's like just one? Explain that to the camera because I think that's an awesome thought. Awesome thought. So instead of having it almost break the line right here, just keep it one straight line yeah, kept from my here. wrist. So you see that right there? Flush, right? So it's like, my dad used to do this to me. He'd get a scorecard pencil and he'd stick it right in here. And you can't. And, 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 and then he got that lead right there and he's yeah. like, I mean, you, you go like this and it's like, ooh, hey, you know? So, but like a T or something or yeah. popsicle stick, you know, they used to do some of those. I could stick it right in there. And that's exactly right. You want to keep it just flush right there. Yeah. Get, get rid of that angle. Weight, the weight of the club just being in that right hand a little bit more 
uh, for some reason that, that, that helps a lot of people when they're rehearsing it at the top. I'm, when I'm swinging, I'm just sw I'm swinging. I'm not thinking about something like that. But when I'm rehearsing it, just being here and then having that feel like it's right here, that helps a lot of but players I'll feel too. It, I'll feel it in my right hand more with that elbow right underneath Big my hand. Big time, because look at it, it's a tray. Yeah. Tray, tray, tray here, dump. Now it's all on the left. Yeah. But I get it like this. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Absolutely. So get the flat wrist, big chest, and get the arms going. There you go. And when you do that, right, you're returning them. Go ahead and set up again, do it again. With the ball or without the no ball? No ball. Flat left wrist. Good, and then you're missing that rod on the way down, right? You need to get them underneath, exactly. But I'm not thinking about getting it underneath, it just goes. It should go, but when you're taking your practice swings, I do believe you need to make sure that you're always returning your hands back to the same spot they start, right? So my hands are right here. I'm imagining this little imaginary air bubble off to the right side of my hip. It's the same distance that my hands are from my body right now. It's right here. Now ready? My hands go back through that. And guess what? They come right back through that, right? So for me, when I'm taking practice swings, I am aware of getting them in there. And watch, if I can keep my sequence right, they'll get there. If I get my right side out in front, there's no space to get them there. Awesome, big chest. Oh, gosh, that was nice. Okay, so watch this. Kev, go back behind us here. I want you guys to see this. Give me the, give me the flat left for a spot. Set position. Make sure the shoulders, right, the shoulders turn this to a deeper spot. See how yeah. deep that is there? then it's gonna come down more in here. If you go vertical, yeah. it's coming over there every time, okay? Yeah. So turn it in the direction of your shoulders, and then it'll come back down in that position. Yeah. Okay? So let's set it. Now, right there, and if I held this here, you would turn it under the shoulder plane, right there, there you go, and then back down right there. Oh yeah, dude, I mean, that was, and that's, that's it right there. Now, hey, that ball left, you see it, look, look, look at divot, guys. See how it's much more online. They're going down the line. They're not going across it now. Now, why would the ball be just maybe a hair starting straight going about five yards to the right? Well, it's because the club face, right? Yeah. So you've been used to swinging left for so long, and so many of our viewers have, okay? And they wonder, well, God, I get underneath that rod, but I still, you know, now I hit it out right. Well, yeah, because you're accustomed to having the face be so open relative to the path. You're swinging this way, man, your only saving grace is to have that club face pointing that way. It's the only thing that's gonna keep you in play. So, wouldn't you have to then add the component of understanding, okay, if this is the back of the ball right here, and I'm hitting this way, okay. Flat left wrist should help the club face be more square, by the way. The more bow, the more shot it would get. So, that should help. Big turn, but look at bringing it in here and not maintaining that open face, but having the awareness to, as I rotate, feel the back of that club, or I'm sorry, the face of that club, hit the back of the ball and match that wall right there. Now, if you notice what I'm doing, the back of my left hand, the front of my right hand, that's the club face. It's the club face. So here's the thing. I wouldn't come through like this. I'm always going to smack the wall. I'm always going to backhand the wall. So here's that wall. I'm in the slot. Boom, as I rotate, I'm backhanding it. Hogan, others would say, knuckles down. Knuckles down this way. You know, like the back of the left hand's turning into the ground. I don't like to get too technical. I just like to backhand the wall. Backhand the wall and slap the wall, right? We're here. There. I really like here that will give you an awareness of how to backhand and smack the wall. Okay, once you get this position here, buddy, once you get this turn and then you're back in here, okay, getting into the slot position and simply rotating to hit the golf ball from there, that's a wonderful drill to build the awareness of how to square up the face. You see how straight that ball went, guys? If anything, dead straight, maybe like a little six inch draw even. All that was was I got the club into the position I needed to be in right here, and I just rotated and felt the awareness in my hands. 
no matter how connected a golfer is, there's still a component of these. And every golfer has to educate these to do the right things, right? The hands play a role in the swing, no matter what you think. You can't just step up to a shot and calculate it simply by setup and a good swing to say, hey, I'm gonna turn this around the yellow flag 15 yards and get it going over there to the white flag. I mean, that's just, you know, that's, that's this. That's not just, you know, setting up and turning. So, all right, buddy, hey, hop back in there. I know I gave you a lot, but you can handle it. Flat left wrist, deeper turn, down and smack the wall. The ball was great there. Does that make sense? It does. Isn't that crazy? Close right there, huh? Yeah. At Forzac Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, -step, easy to understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.